Hello everyone, welcome back to another session with me. This is Sainita Saxena and today we will be furthering our journey on revisiting Bijuisms and today we will be talking about deliberate strokes. Yes, when you are tangling, the strokes have to be deliberate. You have to be mindful of what you are doing and it is not something that you do to kill time or to just, you know, it's not a doodle that you do to kill time. The entangle is very much a mindful activity and you have to concentrate and focus while drawing each of the strokes. Let's get started with today's style. So what I'm going to do is just use my pencil draw or string kind of a thing where I will be writing deliberate strokes. Yeah, so I'm just right, uh, creating a broad string running through my tile from one end to the other. Something like this. Yes. And now Let's ink it. I'm using my black micron PN and just inking this string, which I'll be using to write deliberate strokes. Yes, so use a bolder nib, whatever you have handy. So that's deliberate and then strokes. Yeah. So that's our reiteration for today. So now I'm going to add another aura. So as far as this write-up is concerned, you can place it anywhere on your tile. Just use your imagination to do it differently every time you draw the tile. That's what I am doing. Yes, and now we will start to tangle. So there are two spaces here. So you can choose as many tangles as you want or I'm going to start with a tangle called triply here. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a triangle and then aura one side closely, go to the next triangle. Again, rotate aura this side closely, go to the next. So it's not important that the triangles be equal in size or the lines be straight. That's fine. Just make sure they are closely orad or they are sharing one side as closely. I mean, you aura one of the sides as closely as possible. That's what gives triply its actual look. Yeah. So I'm going to just build on each flower. Yes, so this is a flower and now I'm working on this flower. So you can draw as many petals as you want. Small, big, don't bother. Just draw with concentration. That's what is important. Yes, no mistakes in the entangle. It's the next one that we are going to do. Yeah, so you can see here I'm just building on each flower, taking one at a time. So now it is this one. Yeah. So I'm going to fill up this entire section like this. 
Just continue the same exercise. Take your time. Slowly go to each. Yes. So I am done drawing my triply. Now we will add something inside. Probably use triply as a fragment and decorate our triply a little later. First, let us add some other tangle in this section. Now you can choose any tangle. You can draw mocha. You can draw some bunzo. You can draw some mulligan. Any tangle, yeah. So let's go with some bunzo. So I'm just going to randomly draw these C shapes, consecutive C shapes, connected in pairs. Rotate your tile. Draw the way you want, wherever you want to take it, right? So again, I'm going to start probably somewhere here. Just drawing it the way I wish to, not really thinking how, where, what. Taking it in any direction. Take your time. Right, so it's not uh, exactly possible to draw it in the same fashion. So you just have to fill this space and you can take it any direction you want. That's the beauty of this tangle. So feel free to maneuver it the way you want. Have fun with it. So those of you who are new to this tangle must be thinking, what is she drawing? Just lines. We are going to ink them in pairs. Yes. So then you will be able to see the actual effect of the tangle. So again, drawing behind there, whatever space is available, I'm just going ahead and filling it up. Right, again here you can come from the other side. Take your time. Do it the way you wish to. Yeah, again. Some hidden ones there. So you can add one more here. Yes, take your time and fill up the entire space with the tangle bunzo. Yeah. So now I'm going to switch to a finer nib first and then add something inside my triply. Right. So let's add probably, let's see. We can use our brown pen also. So if you have your brown pen handy, probably it will add. So I'm just going to add a simple fragment inside. Something like this. Yeah. So let's do that for all. Or you can add different fragments also. 
if you want to. Take your time and slowly go to each of these triangles which are now fragments. and add this fragment inside each yeah so i'm going to go ahead and do that for all in the same fashion you take your own time I'm still continuing with the same process and a few more triangles left and you can see the meta pa pattern that it forms yeah just because the way the triple has been drawn the grid that it creates when you add a fragment inside you can see the meta pattern that it forms just take your time do that exercise for all whatever spaces you have small little spaces there just go with whatever can be added there drawing behind So I think we are done with our triple. Yeah. Now moving on next to our bunzo. So now we are going to ink with the highlight or you can choose to add the highlight with your chalk whichever way you are comfortable. So start inking in pairs of two, leave a space empty in between, like this, yeah. So take your time and I'm just going to continue. Take your time. So I have inked uh, some of my bunzos. If you want, you can ink all. Or on a second thought, I just thought maybe I will leave some the way they are and just ink some of them yeah let's see how does it uh, look like if you don't like the look we can always go back and ink it yeah so let's get to shading so again i'm going to add some graphite on both ends of this section that i've created And then 
moving on to the triply we'll just shade it as a whole and not shade every element of it if you want you can just go ahead and add some graphite in these in between spaces the center of the flowers that you unintentionally create drawing triply yeah So I'm just giving a pillow effect and just darkening the edges. Like this. Coming to Banzo, good idea to add graphite on both ends of the whites. Yeah. So just make sure you stick to the ends and you don't add too much. So in these also I'm going to follow the same principle add on two ends. And let's see if they look nice that way and probably will not ink them yeah so let's blend first so I'm going to start with my center the deliberate strokes Make sure the center remains white, you want to highlight it. So just keep the graphite to the edges. Moving on next to our triply. Pull the graphite away from the edges. Blend it nicely, bring it towards the center. But again, leave the center white. Make sure you blend the graphite nicely. Yes, so you can see how the center kind of pops up. Moving next to our bunzo. So just a very soft touch without blending too much just soften the graphite keeping the highlight intact Yes. Just keeping to the edges, make sure you don't blend too much. The whites need to be visible. that's about it that was quick shading yes so now if you want you can go back and I think I will just add ink here I think it will look better if this section is inked 
like this yeah you want to redo the highlight you can always use your chalk and revisit some of the highlights it's already there so chalk will not add much but yes you can if you want to run through it and then just highlight the center where you have not added graphite just add the chalk just blend it and that's about it we don't need to do anything else yes you can always add small little embellishments here and there if you want as i have been doing this throughout using black pearls you can do it on your triply also you can add it here also it will add to the look of your triply these small spaces left in between your flowers you can add a small orb and fill it in they will highlight it a little more yeah so there is always a room for embellishment just find that opportunity to add small little bits here and there to enhance the look of your tile those opportunities are always there you just have to identify right so you can see these small pearls just highlight your triply a little more that's it i don't think we need to do more yeah so that's about it that's our tile for today so i'm going to be closing my tile here don't forget to put in your chop sign and date your tile right so i shall see you again with one or two more sessions where we revisit bijuism one of the most important being no mistakes yes so i shall see you again bye bye